well, it would seem that the Talmudic Jewish lobby thinks you're a neo-Nazi if you oppose the Muslim invasion that's currently infecting Europe right now. You know, this is over in Hungary, because, you know, here's the thing to need to point out. You'll have some of these Talmudic Jews who will, you know, oppose the, the mass Muslim migration, but the vast majority, especially a lot of the left-wing ones, are all for pushing a lot of this stuff. You know, and then they'll call you, they'll throw out these meaningless, baseless words like Nazi or everything else if you critique a lot of this Muslim invasion, a lot of the high level left wing, you know, Jesuit, you know, Jesuit coached Talmudic Jews are pushing into Europe essentially. But this is uh, out of Hungary. Basically, essentially, the Hungarian uh, president, Viktor Orban, Viktor, uh, or sorry about that, had a uh, interruption there, but this is out of Hungary. Essentially, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is criticizing their uh, their leader there, the guy who runs the country, his name is Viktor Orban, for opposing Muslim migration. You're calling him a pure Nazi over it. This is on the uh, Jewish Telegraph Agency. It says, Hungarian rabbis join critics of Orban uh, speech. His own advisor, his own advisor decried as pure Nazi. So apparently, opposing the mass Muslim migration, which a lot of these Jesuit, you know, Jesuit funded, Jesuit, you know, Jesuit led essentially, uh, left wing Talmudic Jews are heavily pushing. It says in the article, Hungary's top rabbis have voiced their, uh, have added their voice to a torrent of criticism about a speech by Prime Minister Viktor Orban in which he said that Hungarians do not want to become peoples of mixed races. Orban, who, whose far right rhetoric has long galvanized his base and millions abroad while angering many others, made the remark Saturday during a speech in Romania decrying the, decrying the arrival of uh, millions, sorry, to Europe of millions of Muslims. Uh, Orban's remark prompted an advisor, uh, Zuza uh, Hegedes, to resign. In a letter announcing her resignation, Hegedes, who is Jewish, called the speech pure Nazi, a pure Nazi diatribe worthy of Joseph Goebbels, the Nazi propaganda chief. Rabbi Robert Forlich, the chief rabbi of Mazet is whatever, whatever you say it, the umbrella group of the Hungarian Jewish communities told the Jewish Telegraph Agency that or Orban's remarks was a violation of human dignity and morals. Slomo Kovs, the head of the uh, Orth Ibisian Orthodox umbrella of Jewish communities in Hungary, called or Orban's choice of words unfortunate, suggesting that it was not compatible with Judeo-Christian values. I need to point something out. Judeo-Christian is not really an accurate term because Judaism is a false religion. It's of the spirit of Antichrist, according to the standards of 1 John 2, verse 22 down to verse 23. Also, um, any religion that denies that Jesus Christ is, you know, the way of salvation is a false religion, plain and simple. John 3, 36, uh, Acts 4, 12, there's no other way of salvation. If Judaism denies that, it's a false religion. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, you can call me uh, anti-Semitic all you want, just saying what the word of God says. But anyway... So this is holding of Judeo-Christian is, is not really an accurate term, but continuing on the article, the rabbi's criticism is notable uh, because they typically refrain from criticizing the prime minister even when others do. Deborah Lipstadt, the, the U.S. State Department's anti-Semitism monitor, also condemned Orban's speech, quote, deeply alarmed by the Hungarian prime minister's use of rhetoric that clearly evokes Nazi racial ideology, unquote. She tweeted saying that the rhetoric was especially inexcusable for, quote, one who claims zero tolerance of anti-Semitism, unquote. Uh, in, part of, in part of the speech pertained to the peoples of the Carpathian, Carpathian region, Orban said, quote, we are willing to mix with each other, but we do not to, we do not want to become a mixed race, unquote. He characterized Muslims moving to Hungary as a, quote, flood, who are being, uh, being forced upon the country in rhetoric that echoes replacement theory, or a replacement theory, a racist sentiment uh, animating many white supremacists. Orban is scheduled to speak next week at CPAC, the conservative political conference in the United States. In May, he hosted a CPAC convening, uh, convening in Hungary, where the, a Hungarian writer known for anti-Semitic remarks, remarks was a featured speaker. CPAC organizers said Orban's speech uh, would go on as planned despite the backlash. Yeah, it's called free speech. If you don't like it, then just you know go somewhere else. You know, I love how all these guys are like, oh, we're for democracy, we're for democracy. Yet, you know, the supposedly free speech is part of democracy, but these guys just assess these supposed promoters of democracy in the Talmudic Jewish lobby uh, incessantly attack free speech. It's a bunch of garbage. And again, you know, it's like we're, we're opposing the mass Muslim migration. Yeah, there's racial stuff in, evoked there. And what's wrong with just wanting to stay European? Nothing wrong with that, you know. 
it's what you know and oh it's racism it's 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 funny because it wasn't even about jews but then they're bringing up anti-semitism it's a bunch of garbage you know apparently opposing mass muslim migration you're now like i guess hitler 2.0 <laughs> wow but it says uh, continuing on the article focusing on the issue of race and speeches is unusual for orban uh he has made but he has made multiple statements that critics say were racist and anti-semitic in 2018 he uh used uh, during a speech terms that critics said echoed Nazi propaganda against Jews. He said, quote, we are fighting an enemy that is different from us, not open but hiding, not straightforward but crafty, not honest but base, not national but international, does not believe in working but spe but uh, speculates with money, does not have its own homeland but feels that it owns the whole world. He said at the time in remarks reported by The Guardian. Uh, on uh, Thursday, Orban made a rare uh, concession to his critics in which he offered clarification about his comments. Quote, it, uh, it happens that I speak in ambiguous terms, unquote, he said during a press conference in Vienna, according to the Index News site. Uh, we are proud of you. We are, so we are proud of what Hungary, Hungary has achieved in the fight against racism, he added. The speech in Romania is not about racism, it's about cultural differences. Yeah, exactly. The pedo, you know, pedo prophet worshipping false you know, religion that these Muslim migrants are bringing over. Yeah, it's not really the same culture as, you know, what would, what would normally be seen in, over in Europe, you know. And, but of course, you're now a neo-Nazi if you're opposing, you're like Hitler 2.0 if you're opposing th this t totally, total invasion by these Muslims, these Ishmaelite Muslim migrants. But it says, uh, continuing on in the article, uh, in a letter to Hegedus, his former advisor, Orban, wrote, You can't be serious about accusing me of racism after 20 years of working together. You know what? According to my understanding, God created all people in his own image. Therefore, in the case of people like me, racism is excluded from the get-go. In a statement about Orban's speech, Coves, the Orthodox rabbi, said any discussion of race at all is unfortunate. Yeah, of course they would say something like that. Uh, even though it may be uh, inappropriate to limit the loss of space in Western, Ju Western Judeo-Christian uh, culture. Judeo-Christian is a term popularized in the mid-20th century to signify religious unity, but which has more recently become a catechrase for conservatives. Quote, as I understand it, the significant part of the speech is about the loss of space in, in uh, Western Judeo-Christian culture and the challenges that it poses, unquote. That's what, that's what the guy said. Uh, Cove said, uh, but he added that one of the fundamental values of Judeo-Christian civilization is that God made every human being in his own image. For this reason alone, it is particularly unfortunate to speak of races. Now, that's not even scripturally accurate, okay? Genesis chapter 10 lays out the, the uh, boundaries, the bounds of the habitation. Japheth, which is white people, you know, in verses one to five, it lays out the boundaries, it's Europe, you know? You know, and it's not saying that that whites are superior to other races. It's saying that God set borders and we should all be separate. Nothing wrong. You know, it's like the whole thing. You can call me a segregationist, but I do believe in separate but equal. We have equal rights. We can vote and everything else. And we're just separate. You know, it's, it's you know, and you see all the problems caused by a lot of this mass Muslim migration because of the cultural differences. You know, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses uh, 7 to 8 talks, you know, again, reiterates how God set the bounds of the habitation. He separated the sons of men. Nothing, nothing. I mean, like, is God now a racist as well, apparently? By, the, by their standards, he probably is. But all he's saying is we just want to keep, you know, Europe European. Kind of the way that God intended it in Genesis 10, verse 1 to 5. You know, in Africa stays African. Again, Genesis 10 lays up the boundaries. But it's a bunch of garbage so you're now some kind of neo-nazi hitler 2.0 for opposing just this islamic invasion that's you know plaguing europe in recent times it's insane bunch of garbage but what this is to be expected from the jesuit funded talmudic jewish lobby so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.